welcome back to our channel. My name is Litzy. My name is Yuli. And today we have a very exciting video for you guys. So we're finally uploading a video. And today we're yes. going to be doing a little get ready with us slash chit chat slash music. Yes. We decided like, okay, guys, we need to just me and Yuli talking like, okay, we need to get back on our stuff. Because especially we did like it, like filming. It was like honestly we love filming yeah. and just and making you guys included in our lives so we want to get back into it especially these months are our favorite months like it's about to be christmas halloween thanksgiving black friday all those things are such good content months yeah. that we we can aprovechar and like do so many content for you guys so yeah we wanted to film for so long but we've just been so caught up in our personal lives that we just never really made time but yeah we really love filming so we want to get back to it because I miss it. Yes, it I miss it so much. So, yeah, today, like Yuli said, it's just going to be like our fall-inspired updated makeup look. And just talk to you guys and catch up with you guys and just talk to you guys like a chill vid video. Yeah, more of a sit-down chit-chat because we were going to film like another video, but it wasn't really talking. So, yeah, we need a video of talking. And especially since this <clears> video, <throat> it's like one of the newest videos that we've done. So, we want to talk to you guys like... It's our first video ever and just introduce you guys to us, right? Yes. Introduce us to you guys. Okay, guys, my name is Litzy and I am 24 years old. 24. <gasps> Sorry, 23. <gasps> what the fuck? <gasps> Sorry, guys. Girl, you should just turned 23. I know. Right I, I, it's ago. just me. Like, I always think I'm older than what I am. Like, literally the whole year last year I was saying um, I was 23 when I was actually 22. I shouldn't do that but yeah i was like what the f i was like you're not that old I'm i know <laughs> no guys that's not old but yes i am 23 years old and then i'm yuli and i'm 21 years old i'm about to turn 22 in um december december which is three months from now right yeah but it goes by so fast that we're just gonna be like dang this whole year we're by so fast yeah i did so we're just gonna get started to this video and yeah yes so without any further ado if you guys are new to our channel don't forget to like comment subscribe and turn on your post notifications to get notified every time we upload a new video also follow our igs we're gonna have it down in this description below so you guys could stay uh, like active in our lives especially because we do post way more on tiktok instagram yeah. than on here but that will change mm -hmm. and if i sound a little more mala I'm sick a little bit just yeah. saying because my voice sounds a little deep right now so yes y'all know okay guys we're gonna get started now also guys our camera recently broke the that's top why, it's on top of that so you that's know that's why we haven't filmed but yes <laughs> but our camera we're getting it fixed currently so we're using my phone so if the quality isn't the best just hold on okay guys getting started with our face prep so I recently got this like as a sample when you know when it's your birthday on Ulta and I am obsessed with it so I'm waiting to run out so I can go get it. What is it? But it's the drunk elephant. It's like a cream but it helps like with your acne and it's like helps with dry skin. So so for my prep I use this crema from Ultra Facial but Kills sorry from Kills. I already put it so I had that on my face already and then I go in with my Elf primer. Yes. I love this primer. This is like the before I wouldn't even use primer, but ooh. yeah. And I purchased before the like I actually purchased it twice the milk one. And honestly, I can say that it's literally the dupe. Like it's literally the same I think quality. It's I don't know. I just feel like it's the exact same thing. Like it grips your makeup. So yeah, I think it's like the best primer I use. I like to put it on my eyebrows to like control them because they be going everywhere. But yeah, guys, so what's new? I recently went to Miami. That's like an update. Oh, yeah, that is everything. And I wish Yuli went because I'm guessing like a lot of you guys have asked me like, oh, why didn't Yuli go? Because so it was more. So at first I didn't tell a lot of people about it because I don't know. I've never been to Miami. So that's why I didn't really tell people or invite a lot of people. But I did tell Yuli, but then she saw that it was more of a couple. Yeah, because at first I thought, it gonna, I thought it was going to be like the Texas trip that we went on. Like it was a whole bunch of, it was a big group. I, I thought it was going to be in a big group, but then Litsy ended up telling me it was like four people and they were in couples. I was like, I am not about a fifth wheel. No, and no then I, the thing is, guys, I never make Yuli feel fifth wheel, do I? Um. 
No, like I'm over here kissing and like you know, oh, no. that's like that's fit, like making uncomfortable. Oh no. No, like I, I'm not like that or no. so I'm gonna do my eyebrows and then use eyeshadow. Okay, continue. Oh and anyways, I use the Jaclyn Hill hydrating under eye primer under here. Okay. But yeah, anyways, um, Miami was so much fun. I definitely recommend it if anybody's planning to go out there. One thing is for sure, it is so expensive out there. So Good yeah. Thing I go. I'm scared. <laughs> um, but hopefully next year we go. Yes. I want to go. Or sure. definitely like I want to go to Cancun. I feel like that's the one spot oh, that yeah. I want to go to. Yeah, I feel like it's so much. Yeah, fun. I want to go more tropical vibes. Yeah, and for my eyebrows, I do them very lightly because I look cute. Already have them kind of dark. And I use the Morphe um, James Charles palette. It is right. Yeah, the James Charles palette just for my eyebrows. What was our last video? The our last video, I think, was Texas? it Texas? Was it? Yeah, it's kind of embarrassing because that was like five months ago. Yeah, that was a minute. Anyways, guys, so yeah, our last video was our trip to Dallas, and it was so much fun. I definitely, like, yeah. I love that trip. It was fun. We need another trip, for sure. I want to get a cabin for my birthday. I feel like I've been seeing that for, like, how many years? No, but I feel like when... No, the one year I was going to get it, like, we literally we had We did every... get it. We did get it. We literally had everything planned. I mean, my Fashion Nova order. Yes. We are about to go literally the day of we were gonna leave to um the yeah. trip like it was literally i think it was a few of us too it wasn't it was like a big group it was a big group and it was in utah so we were literally getting ready to leave that day and that day was the day we were supposed to get our results but we honestly didn't think we yeah were yeah just because we weren't feeling anything and yeah i don't remember feeling anything until i got my results literally we're talking about covid yes they're like what are y'all talking about yeah oh yeah so when yuli uh, finally planned her like a uh, trip to the cabin that was around covid when it was literally starting and that morning they were just like wanted to we just were verifying like i nobody had it and my results were taking longer than anybody's and that morning i found out yeah so um, why did i do a cabin last year for my 21st that would have been fun but the thing is it takes with planning because they like I always do it last minute, so I need to start looking into it for sure, because... Because especially a lot of people, like, want to do their birthday, or not even birthday, but celebrate Christmas on a cabin, so that's why... Yeah, because my birthday is literally the same week as New Year, Christmas. Yeah. But... But, guys, I'm using the my favorite concealer, which is the Too Faced Concealer Born This Way to sculpt my eyebrows. And me, for the top, I use the NARS foundation. I recently just switched shades because the other one was looking kind of white. This is the Pan Panage. I don't know. And then I use the Born This Way concealer. And guys, one of the main reasons we have been slacking on YouTube is because if you guys didn't know, we have our own beauty bars. So yes. we have been rarely caught up on that. Yeah, thank God we have been busy. Because as many of you guys know, I don't know if our followers are estheticians, businesswomen, bosswomen. I don't know if you are, but you know when starting a business, it's really hard, but it's also a lot of time consuming. Just like promoting your business, being consistent, doing all that stuff. So that's why we've been super busy doing that. But yeah. Especially since it was our first year, we've been a little bit more caught up on that. Yeah. Just because we were trying to do everything right. We were learning our services. Well, we weren't learning our services. We were graduating from like esthetician school. And then right when we were like graduating from esthetician school, we started building our place. And then we started getting a bunch of stuff, trying stuff like inventory. So it was definitely a time process, but now that we're caught up in that, we really love our services and we're just like looking to bring in a lot more things. So it's very exciting. And we're gonna tell you guys what services we offer in case you were interested and live here in Vegas. Yes. So I do lashes, I do teeth whining and body sculpting. And then me and Yuli also offer makeup and hair services. So if you guys ever are in need to get glammed up or any service, let us know. We also are gonna have our, um, page and business down below yeah so yuli what do you offer and i do body body school <laughs> <laughs> i got confused and i do facials and waxing and then like brow laminations yes. tinting 
Yeah, very exciting new things. And we want to, like, I feel like we want to bring in so many new things. We love to, like, learn more stuff and just keep adding and growing. Si Dios quiere, we can, you know, teach a lot of you guys one day. So we really want to grow in that way. But, yeah, so if you guys are ever interested, we'll have our information down below. Yes, book. We'll yes. give you guys a 10% discount. Literally, if you guys are coming from this YouTube video, let us know and then we'll give you 10% off. Yes. Per. Okay, guys, and then the foundation I'm currently using right now, I'm literally obsessed with it. And I've only been using it like for a month. And I got it when I was going to Ulta, like to prep for my Miami trip. And honestly, this foundation, it's not sponsored, but I love it so much. It looks all dirty because I don't know what the hell happened in the plane or. I don't know if I left it a little bit open and then it exploded. But Did it get I over your clothes? No, I had it in like a bag of makeup. Oh. But anyways, this foundation it literally stayed on throughout the humidity, so I definitely recommend. Okay. So I guys. don't know what look I'm going for, but we're gonna wing it. And then I'm using this naked from Urban Decay concealer. It's not a concealer, it's a correction concealer as contour. And Lizzie does her foundation first, and I do my um, eyeshadow first. Yeah. Usually, because I always get hella fallout, and I'm just gonna go all over my concealer, so that's why I do my. And me, like, I've tried doing that, but it just doesn't work out for me. So, right now, I'm getting like a dark brown, and I'm just gonna wing it out like that. Like a little wing. Okay, let's blend this out. What else have we been doing? We've also been hitting the gym. I feel like we've been more consistent. Yeah, yeah I no, I feel like I it have been. <laughs> no, and the thing is, guys, like a lot of this is advice. Not that we're like gym pros or anything, but like it takes so long for you to see results at the gym. And I feel like that's why sometimes people get so discouraged yeah. and feel like, what's the point of like, I don't even see a difference. But guys, literally, I've been going to the gym since high school, but I've never really gone consistently. Remember we go to the gym and just be on our phones, not doing shit. Yeah, we were also like young, yeah. so I feel like that was like the we would age. go, we would go like in a group and just not do our thing. Yeah, literally. <laughs> so I feel like also that's a reason why you should just stay consistent. Like also not just with the gym. This is like a little advice. Not just with the gym, but also with your personal life and your relationships, your business, your anything. You if you don't see it happening right away don't give up like in the things good things don't come overnight yeah and especially like with the gym you might not see results right away but if you stay consistent you will but i feel like you can tell like kind yeah. of we do go to the gym but we're at that point where we're not like gym rats like hardcore that's my double chip peeking through <laughs> oh my god they're gonna be like you sure about that one no but i feel like yeah that's a advice for you guys yeah you guys are starting your business don't feel discouraged. I'm going with a lighter color to smoothen it out. And then I really like this um, setting powder. It's a little dirty. Uh, it's from One Size from Patrick Star. I love that one. Yeah, the it's one really good. It? I love it. I'm waiting for me to finish mine that I have so I can buy a new one. And I love the pink shade. I was a little nervous to try it out, but I honestly, I'm glad I did because I really like it. So I'm going to cut my crease, but for that, I'm going to use my foundation color so it can look like a smooth a little line. Ooh, should I do it like the whole way or like half? What? The concealer. Maybe I'll do it halfway, actually. Let's talk about this year. What are your goals by the end of the year? The end of the year. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I feel like the first one on the list would be being consistent on YouTube for sure. Yeah. Because sometimes I'd be out and then girls say like, oh my God, I would watch you guys. Yeah. And that was a good feeling. That's always a good feeling. Like meeting yeah. you guys, like people that support you. And then I feel bad that we're over here not doing nothing. Like not filming no videos. Yeah. Because I feel like also when, like I feel like also like you can incorporate this. When you want something and when you want to do something, you know, you shouldn't make excuses. Yeah. Like, I feel like me and Yuli been making excuses. This is kind of like a raw, like, um, what's it called? A reality check. A reality <laughs> check. Okay, guys, and here I'm just using this Juvia's Palace as a bronzer. What's something that you want to work on? Um, I definitely think I want to work on just being consistent in everything in my life. Like the gym. Also with, um, what else? The gym. 
with my business. I think it's been going good for me and Yuli, gracias a Dios. But like, I feel like I we have so many services that we could do and so yeah. many services that we can... Because there's always room to grow, guys. If you think that, never stay comfortable. That's also advice. Yeah. Never stay comfortable. Wherever you, when Once you get comfortable, you get lazy. Anyways, what I was saying. Um, yeah, basically, never think that you're good where you're at. I, it's always good to know, like, oh, I'm happy where I've come from and where I'm at now. But never stay in place. Like, never get comfortable. Because I feel like that's what me and Yuli learned in this process of, like, starting our business. And just doing, like, you know, growing up, I yeah. feel like our lesson was to never get comfortable. Because once you get comfortable, you start slacking. And you start procrastinating, like, knowing you gotta get shit... How do you Girl, do it? Girl, you're like, 20. You said 24. You can't wear clothes. Sorry, guys. Okay, like, you know you gotta get things done and then... You just feel like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Or like, I'll do it later. Knowing you got to get it done. And especially when me and Yuli learn too, it's like life is short, you know? And like me, like I always think like the future is so close. So I feel like you just have to, if you want to get things done, just do it now. It's like literally having your mind now or never. Thanks, Yuli, do you have any advice for the peeps? Um, Just do it. <laughs> literally nike nike sign no but it's true don't ever be comfortable guys you gotta like stay consistent you can't make excuses you can't be like you can't think of financial things or you can't think about the weather or you can't you know what i mean people are doing it when it's raining when they're going through it yeah. you know when you, you want to do something you just gotta do it that's it facts this is like a, a whole lecture that I damn bitch. I just want to see y'all do your makeup. No, but I feel like it's also good, and I, I feel like a lot of people did say they miss our. Um, maybe they didn't, but I don't know. <laughs> no, I feel like it is good to listen to it because I will listen to like motivational speeches sometimes. Yeah, and I feel like it is good to get like that reminder. Yeah. Talking about. I'm just adding like this brown to the orange. I don't know where my look is going. I'm just going kind of with the flow. Also, you have to be your number one supporter. And it's good to realize what you need to work on, but also don't put your own self down because that doesn't go anywhere either. Like saying like, oh, you suck. You're a piece of, or like you're or not good never, enough. Or don't ever think you're too old to start something. Yeah, that was the moment that I realized like you can really start at any age because our. Her classroom was like really it was a big class and like the ages were like hello what's called like diverse right? yeah it was very diverse like, like i was, was the youngest one and then i met ladies that were like 60 right yeah 60, 60 like joining i was just like you see like anyone could do it like it doesn't matter your age yeah and it was really inspiring because sometimes once i've, I've also met a lot of like women like mothers that once they get to the age of like i don't know 30 or 40 they feel like their life is over and they don't have to not even just dress up but also do things for themselves or start a career and guys that is completely wrong there is no age Ooh. limit to starting your life and you know doing the yeah. things that you dream of like there's no age limit if you feel like you have a dream that you've been pushing off or just pushing off just because you feel like it's not gonna work out or because you feel like it's too late for me or why if people are gonna make fun of me or if people are just gonna talk or everyone, about me or the main one is like oh everyone's doing it yeah everybody's doing it because guys we literally got into the industry of everybody's doing it yeah. and honestly the, and I, me and Yuli never felt discouraged in that people have asked us like do you feel like competition or do you guys feel like what's it called yeah like competition like, yeah. And, and honestly guys there is no competition when it becomes to the beauty industry any kind of industry because the only person you're competing with is yourself to be better because honestly guys there's so many people in this world there's so many girls i'm gonna use a blush but not a really it's barely even like a color to be honest it's like this one right here and this one it's more like burgundy-ish colors cheeks and then a little bit on my nose so now i'm gonna use my nyx lip liner and brown I'm just putting mascara and i've been loving the white eyeliner on my waterline i haven't done black in a minute i don't think i've ever done well in my emo stage literally i have tried um black but it's just not for me i don't yeah i feel like it makes my eyes look small and i like my eyes looking big so the white one actually helps make your eyes look bigger yes. okay guys so now i'm gonna do my lips and i always have the same freaking routine for my lips 
I feel like I'm using the same colors too. I feel like I just can't get off that, that color. Anyways, I'm gonna use the NARS lip color in Slow Ride. It's a pom pom Power Matte Lip Pigment. So now I'm using highlighter. I literally put highlighter like down here all over my face. Okay. I always like to make sure my lips are dry. In my inner corner, my eyebrow, my nose. Pop my lip. We even set up the music because we thought we weren't going to have a lot to talk about. Yeah, we were going to put music, but there's literally, we've been talking the whole time. We've just been venting the whole time. Okay, guys, and this is the Brittany and Brianna Morelio Beauty Creation collab, but, oh, the lid is right here. Anyways, I love the blush, so I'm just going to apply it right here. Ooh. That might not hurt. Oh, I bought the fake one, remember? <laughs> oh, you bought that one? I bought one thinking it was real, and then I was like, bro, why is like, the powder not like... Where did you like, buy it? The Kai Honest. Just kidding, it was the Kai Honest. I was like, okay, I know they sell it here, so I thought it was that one. I don't one. think they sell the real one. I don't, I don't know. know. That's what I thought, because they had like a beauty creation section, and I bought it. Let me. I think it would be real too, actually. I don't know, but I was like, why is it not pigmented? And then it just looked fake. Okay, guys, so I added this Fenty Beauty Lip Stick Lip Gloss in Fenty Glow. So cute. So I went more for a matte look, and then Lizzie has more of a glossy look. Yes, ma'am. Just gave you guys like a little update. This is our updated fall makeup routine. I, I like your makeup. I like yours too. Thank like you. <laughs> it's more like orangey, mine's more like brownish. Yes. Yellowish. But it's definitely fall. Like you guys can recreate this. <laughs> anyway, so this is our makeup look. So if you guys can recreate this, and if you guys do, tag us and send us a picture. Yes. And then, yeah. But we hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications. To get notified every time we upload a new video. Also, like I said in the beginning of our video, we're going to have our all of our platforms down in the description so you guys can follow us and support us. And remember, guys, subscribe. We're trying to hit to 100K subscribers. Si Dios, si Dios quiere, by the end of this year, I think we can do it if we echarle ganas and just stay consistent. But comment with that, okay. But comment below what videos you guys would like for us to film. Yes, and remember guys that if you have that one thing that you've been wanting to do, it's either make a YouTube video, make a YouTube channel, do that TikTok, or gym. just, yes, go to the gym, start your business, do anything. Do remember that you guys can do it. Okay, guys, and uh, we love you guys. Bye. Bye.